Pink Floyd's 1994 European tour is sponsored by Volkswagen. Please welcome the head of public relations for Volkswagen, Jennifer Herschel. Hi. <clears throat> sort of incredible for me on a personal basis. When I was a teenager, there were three things on my mind. Hot cars, hot guys, and rock and roll. Ultimately, I went on to marry a hunk. I work for one of the biggest car companies in the world, so I do get to drive hot cars, safely, of course. And here I am, sharing a microphone with Pink Floyd. Life is pretty sweet. On a serious basis, Volkswagen is always looking as an international company for new ways to reach its customers, uh, rather than through traditional product information. We need to sex up our brand a little bit. And uh, to us, music is the only really international language. It's an emotional language. So we're very, very excited about working with Pink Floyd uh, and proud to sponsor the 1994 tour in Europe. We intend to use it extensively throughout all of our communications involving all of our dealers and our employees throughout Europe. And we're even going so far as to design a special edition limited Pink Floyd car with a lot of input from the band who have long known to be auto enthusiasts in addition to brilliant musicians. So if you, like me, drive your car and listen to rock and roll blasting away, you'll probably agree that mobility and music have an awful lot to do with one another. And you'll join me in looking forward to the most exciting tour in 1994. Thanks. Good afternoon. I'm Mark Fisher, the production designer. And I'll be on hand to answer questions with the band, but my main function here now is to introduce you to the band, to Dave Gilmore, Nick Mason, and Rick Wright, Pink Floyd. Please welcome. Questions and answers. Could you please um, raise your hand when you want a question um, and introduce yourselves to the band, your, your publication, yes. whatever. Thank you. Who's first then? Over here. Over here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> here. Hello? We can hear. Carry on. Um, it's, it depends on who offers you something, and uh, that's the best offer we got for something that we could uh, reasonably believe in. Were there any other products involved? Uh, no. Hello, magazine. What an honour. Hmm. Okay. Um, I, I don't know. Is it not on the date sheet? I haven't. Uh, I don't know when we're coming to Greece, but um, I imagine it'll be something like September of next year. I would yeah, imagine. I think Greece is not on the itinerary at the moment, but I think there's. Uh, we'll attempt to um, play Greece at the end of the of the itinerary that's in the in the folder. Hmm? <coughs> Um, yeah, it is a new album, yes, brand new thing. It should be out next April, I guess. Hopefully. Okay. Um, you've been fully involved with Mark Brickman and Mark Fisher in the design concept for the uh, stage. You could say that, yes. Uh, 
how did you, you know, how did, what form did this take, your involvement, and how did you cons it's going to take place? Uh, well, we've worked with uh, Mark Fisher a number of times before, and Mark Brickman on the last one, and basically uh, we have sort of brainstorming sessions where ideas are proposed to us, and uh, it's mostly a question of saying yes or no to lots of bits and pieces and ideas, and they're all, they all get put together thereafter. Um, and you do have to have a number of of these sort of meetings. And uh, did you have anything in your head to start with? Uh, one's just looking for something that makes it different to what you've done before, and hopefully find something that some that no one has done before and is interesting, unusual. I mean, I think we could, we could say something about the fact that we we've always been interested in using film, and we've spent quite a lot of time trying to develop systems of, of showing film along with the show. Um, and in fact, a fair amount of time is taken, taken up with abortive schemes. Uh, on, in this particular case, I think we probably had to ditch quite a lot of the original thinking of what we intended to do. And we'll end up with something that sort of moved on two or three stages. Uh, no, I don't think that... I don't think there'll be a, a particular theme. And in fact... I think it would be reasonable to say that this tour would probably be not specifically geared to the new album. It will be the new album plus um, looking at the sort of library of, of things we've done over the last 20 odd years. Um, the last time somebody played that arena where you're going to play collapsed, which was Bruce Drake Springsteen, can you tell us a bit about the elaborate setup that we read about in the press release? Of the show. It will be very strong, I suppose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it says in the press release that it's an elaborate, a massive production and the large, largest and most complex ever devised. So I'm wondering well, I'm sure it will be. We haven't built it yet. It's not completely <laughs> built. And uh, I certainly don't want to go into any more about it than what you've got there. You're going to inaugurate the stage room. Did you know that? It's been reinforced and not in use. No, well, I didn't know that. We'll cross our fingers and hopefully yeah. <laughs> sufficiently strengthen it. Why has it taken so long for you to get this uh, tour together? It's five years now since you've done anything appreciable. Um, have you been waiting essentially for somebody to sponsor it, or, or were you planning, hopefully, to <laughs> start a world tour before long? <laughs> no, no, we're, we're, we're lazy. We have other things to do. We don't want to spend our entire lives doing nothing else but touring and... I mean, an album, an, uh, an album a year and a tour thereafter has left what we were capable of many years ago. And, and uh, it doesn't seem like terribly long to me since the last time we went out. Brain Damage uh, magazine, is this going to be your last tour? I have no idea. So it, is, it is not the farewell tour. Or it has not been, it's not been labelled as such. I, I don't know. James Bourne, Music Business International. Would you have been able to tour without Volkswagen support and how much does Volkswagen support actually mean to you in financial terms? Um, of course we'd be able to tour without their support, but uh, we're, we're grateful for it. And it uh, involves uh, a fair bit of dosh being put out towards promoting everything all over Europe. Are you prepared to give a figure? Uh, no, I don't know the figure. I certainly wouldn't anyway. Ivan Kitka, Czech Press Agency, Prague. Uh, I think you are going for your first concert in, in Prague or in the Czech Republic generally. And I would say that the that your rock fans in, in Prague would uh, watch you very carefully whether you are still the old, good Pink Floyd without Roger Waters. Have you got any message for them? Um, well, I can only say come to the show and I hope we live up to their expectations. I'm Kirsi Benanen from Finland. I just would like to know that in what direction is Pink Floyd progressing now musically with a new album? Are you getting influence from like funk or world music like many rock bands so is it is Pink Floyd having its own way and how commercial would you like to be? Um, well 
we, we don't look at commerciality as the first thing we look for. We just move sort of blindly on in our own way. Um, I, I, I don't, I've never known how to describe musical direction in words. It's something you can only assess or you people can assess uh, after the event and tell us what sort of musical direction we were going. And I, I, I don't really understand the concept of what musical direction we're going in. Yes, the new yeah. album should be out in April, I think. Uh, uh, Ward Music With a bit of luck. Magazine. Sorry, where are you? Oh, there you are. Phil Ward Music Technology Magazine. Uh, do, you, do you like The Orb, the band The Orb? Um, I went to see them once. When? Um, at Brixton. You mm. saw one of the Academy shows? Yes, Are you I encouraged did. by... I quite like uh, some of their stuff. Are you encouraged by the... I haven't actually them? seen them live, no. Are you familiar with the albums, Richard? Um, not very much, no. Why do you ask the question? Because uh, there's a, there is an association in people's minds between yourselves right. and um, a development of ambient and electronic listening music these days. I was just wondering whether you were encouraged by that or flattered by that or how you felt about it. It's nice to have uh, people putting us there as their influences, but um, I don't really know that there's a, an awfully strong link between what well, the Orb are doing and what we do. But. Well, their covers feature... Um, I've noticed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, 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 it's just an, uh, um, a, a listing music, which is technology-based and highly electronic. It's, yeah, it's sort of, of the great philosopher Bo Diddley, you can't judge a book <laughs> by looking at the cover. <laughs> There's a question for Rick. Are you still on a weekly salary or are you, have you become a full, full member yet? Sorry, could you repeat that? Are you still on a weekly salary? No, I'm not on a weekly salary yeah. and I haven't been on a weekly salary. And in fact, as you know, probably on the last album, I, didn't, I came in near the end of the process of making the album and then went on tour with them. On this one, I've been involved right from the beginning and writing and singing, and it's a completely different situation this time, and I'm not on a wage. I'm in partnership with them, and I'm very happy about that, but we're actually all three of us making a Pink Floyd album. And I think that might be an answer to some of these question about what kind of sounds it's going to be, because hopefully my input is going to recapture some of the Pink Floyd sounds that they didn't get. That's what I, that they didn't get on the last album, possibly. That's like what I hope my role is now. That you will do a complete uh, Dark Side of the Moon. The rumours of... That sorry, you will play the, the Dark Side of the Moon. Before. Yes? Yeah. I like rumours. <laughs> right, love, yeah. Keep them going, yeah. Yes, can I also ask you, it's uh, 10 years now since you broke with uh, Waters and there were some rumours that you might be getting again together in the new album. Is it just rumours? What's your relationship with him well, nowadays? Like I say, I like rumours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. No. No truth in that one, I'm afraid. What's your relationship with him uh, nowadays? Um, uh, distant, I think you might say. <laughs> we haven't spoken much. I haven't now. spoken to him since 82. <laughs> Sorry? No, Nick is the godfather no, I'm of not. his only son. As a matter of fact, I have, but I haven't seen his father. A <laughs> uh, question from Italy. Um, the lady uh, said that there is going to be a special Volkswagen, a specially designed model. Uh, are you really going to have some input, and how many has Nick got in his collection? Volkswagens, I think. How many Volkswagens have you got in your um, collection, Nick? I'm very low on Volkswagens in my collection, um, <laughs> but I'm hoping Volkswagen are going to remedy that. Um, and we are working on a car uh, to be produced next year, which we, I think, well, I hope that we have had some input into it. Um, and the idea is to do a car that we feel might be of, uh, of, sort of use to, to our audience rather, to, to, rather than to ourselves. Hopefully, it would be a practical car rather than a sort of rock star car. <laughs> Whatever that is. What is that? Well, <laughs> it's, sort of, it's very big and very powerful, and it has blacked out windows with my name across right. the front of it. Danny Brooke from 
Are you going back to Venice? Going back to Venice? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure they'd take us back. What uh, actually happened last time? In Venice? Was there afterwards? Um, well, as far as we were concerned, we had a jolly good show and a very good time, and uh, the city didn't live up to some of their promises to us and then tried to put the blame on us, but uh, that's rock and roll, as they say. So they didn't make proper arrangements for the crowd, basically? They didn't make proper arrangements. Um, and they, uh, they had promised to make arrangements for the audience and for toilets and for food and all the sort of usual things that people do. And um, they, uh, I think they all went away for the weekend. Or to your concert. Mm. from Radio FFN in Hanover. Can you tell me something more about uh, the new album, about the title or about the concept it will have? Um, no, not really. <laughs> Sorry. It's, uh, it's, it's not finished yet, so we haven't got a title for it. Um, certainly not that we're letting on to. Um, and you'll just have to wait. Yeah. You, you did this video with this auto race a couple of months ago, I guess, and there have been some new tunes on it. Is this some of this, these tunes made up, end up on the new album? Or? Um, we looked at them. I think in the end none of them are actually on it, no. I think it's all newer than that. I'm Ute Ecke Schneider from WDR in Cologne, and uh, I want to ask you, that's the first time you're playing in the United Germany. What do you think about that? Um, well, the last time we played right by the Reichstag, in Berlin, um, which is sort of in the middle of East Germany, but it, it will be a... Uh, I don't know quite what the feeling is about playing in a united Germany. I guess we'll be very happy to. I wish it had uh, fulfilled its promise for everyone. This, uh, this is Felipe from, from Spain. Have you heard from Sid recently? Uh, Do you know about his health or anything? Um, I haven't really heard very much about him uh, recently, no. Why so? Um, he doesn't write, he doesn't call. Uh, no, I haven't. Um, I would quite like to, but his uh, um, family don't think uh, that reminders of his past are terribly good for him, so we tend to uh, leave him alone. Uh, question for Nick. Um, can you tell us a bit of your motor racing activities recently? What, what sort of cars have you been racing? And what kind of standard have you reached? Was that the time? <laughs> How long have you got? Um, uh, what have I done? Well, I've really, um, I suppose, this year's just been with old cars, uh, mainly with a Maserati. Uh, but I... Volkswagen I Maserati. <laughs> <I'd say. laughs> um, but I suppose the feeling at the moment is that with the, the tour coming up and uh, finishing the record and so on, I feel that I'm a sort of retired racing driver for the next year and a half or so. Sorry? I haven't. Sort of the occasional Boeing 747, that's about it. How did you, how did you feel about the, the use of the wall as a, as a, as a concept, but as a, as a, as a, as a soundtrack um, for, for the crumbling on the wall in Berlin, but it was a big show, the European, um, well, it was broadcasted all throughout Europe. How do you feel about that? Because you didn't take any, any part of it. In, in Roger's show at the wall? Yeah. What, what do you mean about it? Sorry. How, how did you feel about the use of the whole concept? Because, I mean, it was very much a, a, your brainchild as well. Um, no, it's mostly Roger's brainchild, and he's entitled to do what he wishes with it. And I have no objections to it. No. The, the animal's pig. Um, we haven't actually decided, I have to confess, that... Um, we don't know whether to take the pig with us or not. We're a little bit bored with him. Spelt either way. <laughs> um, um, studio's a studio. Um, if you've got a nice room and all the equipment works well, then you can record pretty well anywhere. And the boat just happens to have a very nice atmosphere, floating on water and... It's very bright and sunny and, and it's atmospherically very pleasant to work in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have time for just another couple of questions. Ivan Kitka Prague again. Can you tell us, please, where will the rehearsing take place? 
Uh, well, some rehearsing is going to take place in England, music rehearsals in a rehearsal studio, and then we're going to move over to somewhere in Texas for a sort of final production rehearsals where we put the whole thing together. Sorry? The biggest aircraft hangar in Texas. Oh, I don't know. We used the aircraft hangar last time. I don't know actually what we're using this time. You mustn't believe everything you read in these pandas, you know. <laughs> Uh, states first and then Europe, yeah. Sorry? Yeah, April in the States, April through till July, and then Europe. Uh, Martin McNamara from WEFN. Did you ever think about um, retiring, giving it up? Uh, constantly, but what do you do thereafter? Race I mean, I, cars? Pardon? Race cars? It's not, it's not a I career. I don't know, it's not a career. You can, uh, I, I don't think I'm really ready for a retirement just yet, partly because I don't know what to do when I do so. So if anyone has some job opportunities for us, perhaps they'll see us a bit later. Uh, you have always wanted to be very spectacular with your great sounds and great lights. And uh, how long can you compete and what can you do different way this time, sort of that it's still even more spectacular than the last time? Last well, the technology is always mm -hmm. advancing. I mean, what we did five years ago was an enormous advancement over ten years ago and so on, and hopefully um, there's, there's been a similar advancement in the last five years. Can you sort of describe it more concretely? Can I? Sorry? More concretely, sort of what it's going to be like? Um, no, not really, because we, uh, a, a lot of the things that we've talked about doing are proposals, uh, and we haven't even seen them operate yet. But there's certainly, um, there's certainly moves afoot with, the, um, with a lot of armament companies searching around for new, new ways of uh, earning a living with, with the uh, end of the Cold War. But um, uh, I think a lot of sort of high-tech companies are now looking to find other ways of using things like um, guided missiles and so on. So I'm hoping we might be able to find something for them to do. Like you were talking about those film things, that what sort of things will they be? Um, I think we. It's a bit too early to yes. be able to say precisely. Yeah. I mean, the tour is still quite a long way off, and it's still only in gestation. So it's a bit hard to tell you exactly what we're going to do with it. We are writing film treatments for bits of the show, and yeah, we're okay. working on all sorts of thousands of different areas of, of light and film, but. Uh, they're not in a uh, state yet to be able to even describe them, if, if they ever are. Yeah. Yeah. Is have that to see Greek really. right about the Greek connection in your life in Greece? Um, there's no more Greek connection in my life. That's it. Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We'll be doing a photo call over here, please. Thanks. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Gently, come on. <laughs>